I want you all to know how much we appreciate your enthusiasm, how much we need you on Saturday. We can do it. I gotta say this because you're out there summing for Elizabeth mm -hmm. Warren. And of the candidates that people say should drop out, her name frequently gets sure. mentioned. I am not here because I think I'm gonna push her to victory. I'm not here because I'm guaranteeing that she's gonna win. I'm here because I think she would make the best president. A lot of people associate you with the Barack Obama years because mm -hmm. you were closely tied to that. Absolutely. White House, you guys have a relationship. Yeah. And yet the person who was Obama's vice president is not the person that you're endorsing. Mm -hmm. Not that you had to support Joe Biden because yeah. you know Barack Obama, but in this state in particular, I've been talking to black voters all around mm -hmm. town. And there is a generation of black voters that say, I know Joe Biden. Joe Biden was a Barack Obama's mm -hmm. vice president. He knows us. He's our guy. He can beat Trump. To be clear, I'm not part of that generation of right. black voters. Right, I'm yes. Those, those are folks that are my parents' age. Those are folks at my grandparents' age. And I understand why they tend to be a little more conservative when they make choices about voting. Uh, they've had their heart broken by America so many times. They've been let down by America so many times that they want to go with something that they know, something that feels safer. And, you know, relative to where the Democratic Party is now, uh, Barack was moderate, which felt, you know, kind of revolutionary at the time, him being a black man and uh, someone whose middle name was Hussein. But I feel like at this moment in American history, um, we've got to push even further.